All right, guys, so they shut gyms down in Ottawa where I live, which is stupid, absolutely stupid move. There's been like no cases uh, from gyms, like everywhere. Like studies are coming out saying that gyms aren't like a main source of transmission. And I just think they shouldn't be close. I'm not gonna go on a tangent about that here, but I have a freaking home gym now. It's not mine, it's my brother's girlfriend's uncle's, Gord. Gord is an absolute beauty. There's everything you need here. There's a, a bench press, there's a lot, hold on thing. You can do dips, there's weight. This is it. So I'm gonna run you guys through my full push workout here. Maybe a little different than the one I've already posted, but yeah, save this, use this guys. This is gonna be a very effective push workout. And also, I'm gonna give you guys some form cues when I can, so let's go. such a hard time getting warm. Like I gotta do some, some jumping jacks or something cause it's freezing in here. It's absolutely freezing. Like the bar is so cold. So I don't wanna fuck up anything. There's only so much weight I can put on, but fuck it's cold. I thought that was gonna be 205. I literally thought this is a 35, this is 45. That was not 205. That was like 250. What the fuck? This bar is not 45 pounds. It's no, that was actually probably closer to like 235 because I usually get like 240 for five or whatever. What the fuck, man? There's no way I just lost that much strength. That's not 205. Okay, I think these are 70 pounds, but I don't really know. And they're a bit awkward. I usually do uh, barbell overhead press, but there's no, no like squat rack, so we're doing these. Make sure this is not far off flat. Like the one notch above it for the incline, just put it up one, one notch above flat. You don't want a massive incline because you're gonna end up hitting way too much front delvis. That's what happened to me. So I need to work on my chest. It's a weaker point for me. Uh, so this is a really important exercise. Upper chest, focus, just really feel the squeeze. Don't worry about just fucking chucking weight, weight out there. You're gonna end up using a lot of triceps, which I did. That's why they're like big and a lot of front delvis. Let's get to it. Feel your chest working, guys. So cold there, but that literally felt so good. You want to make sure 
When you're doing incline, your elbows, you want them to drive toward the middle of your body. If you just focus on chucking it up, like a lot of people go like this, and you focus on extending the elbow. You don't want to do, you want to bring your elbows in. You don't have to touch them at the top or anything like that. You got to focus on bringing your elbows towards each other and feel your chest squeeze. Like right now, go like this and feel it. That's what you should be feeling. If you're not feeling that, you're probably doing it wrong. You guys, listen to me. Like, I did this shit for my first two years of lifting, and that's why my chest is a weak point. I didn't feel it working. I just chucked up weight. No one talks about this for some reason. That's why the majority of people don't have a nice chest because they don't even feel it working. A big bench doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get a big chest. I know some people that have massive benches and their chest looks like shit because they're probably pushing with their triceps. Their triceps and shoulders are huge and that's my strong suit so I'm guilty of that. I don't want you guys to make that same mistake. Really focus on feeling your chest working. If you have to lower the weight, fucking lower the weight. Like, don't be a fucking ego lifter. Usually I would do uh, cable flies next, because that's a personal favorite of mine, but there's no cables here really. Like these are, this, what I'm looking at here, it's broken. <laughs> it's just a lap pull down machine, but it's broken. So I'm gonna do dumbbell flies. I haven't done these in a while, but really listen to what I'm about to say about the form on dumbbell flies, because a lot of people just fucking fuck it. So uh, listen to what I'm about to say. I'm gonna get the weight. You don't need heavy weight. For flies. If you go too heavy, you'll probably really mess up your shoulder. Your form needs to be good on this, and I'll give you a little technique trick that really helped me uh, start feeling my chest work more. You notice how I keep saying feel your chest? Like, important. All right, I've only got 30s. It's, okay, go back, of course, roll your shoulders back, get it for every chest movement. You wanna go out, you don't need to fully extend your um, elbows, like your arm, go out, you can hold the stretch, and then in, you want to tilt them this way. It's like you're doing a press at the top. So it's a full stretch. <sighs> feels so fucking good. Anyone else, when you guys work out, your like, blood just rushes to your face? That's me. People are always commenting like, uh, about my breathing or something. It's also freezing in here, like, so. But uh, I remember like first couple of years of lifting, people would look at me and like, when I'm doing a set or something, my face gets really red. And they'd be like, oh my God, breathe. I remember someone just like stopped me mid set and like, breathe, like, I'm, dude, I'm like, I'm fucking breathing. It's my skin, fuck you.
next exercise, lateral raises, you need to drive up with your elbows. I think this is probably gonna be a bit too heavy for me. Usually I go 12 to 15, but we'll see what I can do. These are like 30s. Okay, let's Also, I noticed that most fitness influencers literally have the best skin I've ever seen. Like, for, they literally don't have pimples. Okay, like I'm not gonna bullshit you. Like, I have, this is a uh, keratosis pilaris. I fucking hate it, man. I got some stretch marks. My face gets really red. Like, shit happens, man. Okay, don't, like those guys on YouTube, the big guys who have insane skin, they touch up their photos and shit. And it's perfectly normal not to have literally perfect, clear skin. Rarely any people have insane skin like that. Okay, so you know, don't compare yourself to that. Uh, I just thought I'd mention it. Like, I don't have the best skin ever. It's not gonna stop me. Like, shit happens. I literally have no control. It's really hard to control, you know, an acne breakout or keratosis splitters or anything. So. I'm gonna do some, some dips because there's not really anything else to do triceps with. Uh, I don't really like dumbbell like that. It's just not good for the elbows. And you probably notice that, you know, there's one tricep exercise in this push workout because my triceps are a strong point. Just always have me. My twin brothers are as well. Like we just have you know, good tricep genetics, you could say. So I don't need to prioritize them in my training. Uh, I want to put more emphasis on them my chest, so take, I don't want to just tire my triceps out and that impacts me hypertrophying my chest, so let's focus on fucking, focus on chest a lot more, I don't even know what to do. gym push workout. Hope you guys enjoy it. Just mark everything down um, and just get after it. Like, stop being lazy. Stop being lazy, all right? So, also, I'm uh, working on merch right now. Like, really nice merch. Like, just discreet, like, calorie deficit type merch. Just dope shit. Uh, so, it should be out really, really soon. I'm just gonna uh, put it on my IG and when, like, I have a finalized date, I'll say it in a YouTube video as well. But keep an eye out for that. And if you haven't subbed already, fuck you doing man i uh, like the video too unless you thought it was dog shit uh sorry but anyway yeah good uh thanks thanks for coming by boys appreciate it see you in the next one